Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to convert ISO files to MP4 format using Video Pro Converter. So what is ISO file and why do we need to convert it to MP4? ISO file is the soft copy of your physical VCD or DVD. So in case you have a soft copy of your DVD videos, which is in the form of ISO file, you cannot play your ISO file directly on your computer without extra apps. And it is even more impossible to play ISO file on your mobile devices like iPhone or iPad. This is when Video Pro Converter comes in. It is one of the most reliable tools for you to convert ISO DVD video files to MP4 format which can be played on most gadgets on the market. So how do we convert ISO file to MP4 using Video Pro Converter? So first you need to download and install Video Pro Converter app from the links in the description below. So if you love what we do, please help to subscribe to our channel to help us grow. Now after you download and install the app, open it and you will be greeted with this welcome screen. And now you select this option called DVD. And at the top menu here, you can see they have three different options to select to add DVD from the disk from folder or from ISO file. So because this video focus on converting ISO file to MP4, we're going to click on ISO file here. And on my desktop right here, I have one ISO file that I want to convert to MP4. So what I need to do is I click on browse and I go to desktop. And right here you see this is 8K Animals 2. Click on it. Click on open and now it's like my ISO file and you just leave everything else the way it is especially the one that say auto detect just leave it like that and click on done if we start analyzing now it knows my file it shows right here and as you can see at the top right here it automatically select like the output format for me which is mp4 right here I do not have to select it but if in your case it doesn't you can always select the format you want by clicking on target format right here and as you can see right here the output profile there are tons of formats and devices that you can select to convert to you can convert it for apple devices huawei devices samsung android microsoft sony you can also convert it for web video profile like video facebook vimeo and so on or just for some common video profile down here but in my case we're going to go to profiles and we'll select mp4 the first option at the top here we click on done. Next, if you have more than one title, you can also merge them together by ticking the merge title right here. If you want to edit your videos first before you convert, you click on edit here. So after you click edit, it will provide you with the ability to trim or cut the video, to crop the video, to put subtitles on the video, to rotate the video left and right, put effects on your video or put watermark on it. Let's say I want to add subtitle to it. I click on subtitle and I click on add subtitle file and go to where I store my subtitle, which is on desktop. Click on here, click on open and click on done. You can also rename your video if you don't want it to say 8K Animal 2. Let's say I only want to put 8K Animals without number 2. Then I remove that. Click on done. And if you want to make changes to the resolution or the bit rate, you move your cursor down here to the format you selected. Double click on it. It will lead you to profile setting. Right here you can make changes to quality of the video, to video codec options and audio codec options. Start with the quality. It is recommended to move this to slow so that the video quality will be at high quality next for video codec options you can make changes to all of these video codec options like video codec frame rate resolution and aspect ratio but it's recommended to keep everything original if you have specific device to play on you may want to change resolution here but in my case i just leave everything original and i click on done now there's one more thing you may want to take a look at before you start your conversion process from iso file to mp before. Right here, they say hardware acceleration engine. By default, it will tick this for you. NVIDIA, Intel, or other processor that is supported by Video Pro Converter. If you have newer M3 or M2 MacBook, it will also support and make the conversion process faster. And it's also recommended to tick on use high quality engine, which will allow you to convert your video in a high quality mode. Once everything is ready, it's time to convert your ISO file to MP4 by clicking on run here. And you just wait for it to start the conversion process. It won't take long. Now the conversion process is done. Here's the video. Let's take a look at it.
As you can see here, it works fine. So as you can see, that video proc converter is really effective at converting not just DVDs, but ISO files or other video to other video formats quickly and conveniently. And also if you're using Windows computer or video proc converter, there are three AI features that has been included. One of these features is called super resolution. With this AI feature, it allows you to upscale videos and images by three or 400% and enhance your AI art self shots, animations, old archives, and so on. It lets you enjoy the remaster 4K videos and 8K or 10K images for printing or viewing on larger screen with unmatchable visual quality. With super resolution AI feature, it helps you to scale up your videos to up to 4K and images to 8K or 10Ks while delivering a natural result without artifacts and losing details. It is especially made for enhancing AI generated images images as well as all reality and anime videos while it promises to give you low resolution and low quality video or image a new look. I would recommend you to try this feature out if you are Windows computer users to see how impressive they are. And for Mac computer users, the update to include the AI features will be available in the future. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you love what we do, please subscribe to our channel to help us grow. Give us a like, comment down below of your thoughts about the app. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.